Hello Aquarius, I'm here today with a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. So this could resonate with anyone who has Aquarius strongly in their chart, um, but it will not fit for everyone because we're all different ages. We're all living through different types of experiences. Um, from my perspective, it is not feasible that we're all living the same life template. So please be discerning as you listen to this message to make sure that it really fits with you. All right, my beautiful friends, welcome into this space. It's beautiful to have you. Um, I look forward to the story that's coming out today for this, for this group of Aquarius people. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, um, let's see what's here for Aquarius. Just here for Aquarius. Just saying a little quick prayer for myself here really quick for all of you. Let's go ahead and get started. What is the current energy for Aquarius, please? What is the current energy for the Aqua people? What is the current energy for Aquarius? What is the current energy for Aquarius? Ooh. What is the current energy for Aquarius, please? What is the current energy for Aquarius? What is the current energy? eights. Powerful stuff, Aquarius. Powerful stuff. Two eights. All right, I'm moving energy today, so you will hear my stomach. That's what happens when I move energy. So this is a moving energy reading. Um, if you're here and you're interested in that and that makes um, sense to you, please just relax and listen to this reading and let the energy flow out of you energy that is being pushed out of you, let it flow. I can tell when my stomach rumbles, it's energy moving. You may not hear it. That would be preferred. <laughs> okay. What is the next incoming energy? What is Aquarius stepping into? What is Aquarius stepping into in the next incoming period of time? The next two, two weeks or so, seven to 10 days, two weeks, three weeks, month. What is it? What is it for Aquarius? What will Aquarius be stepping into, please? Aquarius is into, into the future. The next incoming period of time for Aquarius. Next incoming period of time. What will Aquarius be stepping into? Okay. This is what we have. This is what we're looking at here. And let's see what the guidance is. Let's see what the guidance is for Aquarius. What is the guidance for Aquarius? Let's so let's understand the guidance for Aquarius, please. The guidance for Aquarius. The guidance for Aquarius, please. See how strong those energies are? I think that was it. All right. Let me check just to make sure. Okay, let me get settled in here, Aqua. This deck is a Wheel of the Year Tarot. Three of Pentacles, lovely energy. Let's get it out of the light just a little bit. Move my light just a little bit in that direction. I can't. Okay. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the upright and Eight of Cups in the upright. Now all of my cards in the deck are in the upright when I shuffle. If they land, if they land strongly in the reverse, I keep them in the reverse. The energies are pretty much the same for me. I read the energies, not really the cards themselves, but um, it's always kind of helpful to see if an energy flies out of the deck and actually lands in reverse. I do think it's it's something to take note of. Um, it's, it's not really an energy. Um, when I read the reversal cards, the energy for me tilts upside down in it. If, if I, um, it can, it can, um, so I'm in the Page of Pentacles right now and it's tilted upside down for me. So it slows me down is what it does. But I, I generally get to the, to the same story. It just tilts me all around and puts me upside down. That's okay. There's a reason why the, pa the 
the princess of pentacles is in the reverse <sighs> let's start with the three of pentacles energy three of pentacles and i'm going to take this card and put it like this for right now just because it's messing with my energy the th because this is what's important aquarius so the the, 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 the the i'm going to take this energy out just for a moment Here's the thing. The Three of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. It's a beautiful energy. It's an energy of building. It's an energy of excitement. Uh, it's the energy that we get into when we have we have an, an opportunity that comes our way. And it takes a little while for us to even make this opportunity, even connect with the opportunity. Then we get the opportunity and it changes our life in some way. But that's just the beginning, right? That's just the beginning. And then we go to work and we see if it fits for us and we see how we're going to do in it, if we're going to be successful with this opportunity. And then what we do is we build something within the opportunity. And it's something that's a start. It's a beginning, but it's something that allows us to learn, right? This could be training. This could be the first project, something you're working on. It could even be a relationship that you're in. Whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's at work or in a relationship or building a home or starting a new life somewhere, you have implemented something in it. You have started something in this new life here with the Three of Pentacles. Um, as you can imagine, this painter is painting this beautiful mural on a wall of, of some kind of formal building. Could be a church, a temple, um, it could be a university, it could be a city museum, whatever it is, he is painting a picture and it, and it seems to me like he's probably done the first painting. And what he learned in that first painting were, were valuable lessons. He's probably learning the type of paint that works best on the on the um, the building materials he's learning um, uh, how much paint he needs what kind of the brushes he needs you know all of these things that he's learned now with this first step that's the three of pentacles energy it's getting into into work it's finding accomplishment it's seeing something come into fruition here that that will it's a platform and a building block for further abundance down the road. So it's a really, really good energy. That's why I wanted to take away the page of Pentacles upside down because I didn't want it to influence how beautiful this energy is. That is the message in this Three of Pentacles. I'm putting it back now. The message in this Three of Pentacles is whatever it is that you're doing that you're having to walk away from here with the Eight of Cups, whatever it is that you're doing, it does not take away from the beautiful um, platform, the beautiful stepping stone, whatever it is that you're working on. Um, there is here a page of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, let me get into this energy. There could be something here that you feel is kind of falling out from under your feet. Something that you didn't maybe realize was going to happen or um, something that has come as a consequence of whatever this Three of Pentacles is. There could be something that's kind of falling away below beneath your feet. Um, it could have been a promise that was given to you, something that you thought was stable, something that you thought was an indication of success. Um, but the Three of Pentacles in reverse tells me, I mean, the Page of Pentacles in reverse tells me um, that there's something here that was a part of this story or a part of your life that maybe held more energetic significance than reality. Whatever it was, the, the page of Pentacles is something that was at some point in, an indication of something stable for you, something helpful for you, some kind of indication of further success. And it is a part of this story nonetheless, even though it could be sort of fading from the picture. Something is fading from the picture. Something that you thought maybe you were going to have a business associate or maybe you were going to have somebody within the company that you could work side by side with. Or maybe um, there was something here. Um, it's affecting it's affecting the base chakra, I have to say. So it's, it is something that you thought was going to be a helpful tool for you now is um, kind of fading away. It's just a page. It's not going to upset the apple cart because this Three of Pentacles is really a strong, beautiful energy. So you already have your foothold. You already have a stronghold. You already have a platform, a foundation in which to stand on, right? It's something that's going to bring you stability. Whatever this is, um, I, I think that it's going to sort of disappear. It's it's going to, you're going to see the reality of it and it's going to be okay. Um, but it's just a little bit of a surprise. It's just a little bit of a surprise here. Um, whatever it is, 
It's a little bit of a surprise, but but I don't see that it's going to affect this in any way. There's a little bit of a walking away. See, you have these two eights. You have this really positive energy, the positive eight of wands. That goes along with the three of pentacles. Positive movement ahead, activity, action, getting to work, maybe communications, maybe messages coming in. Whatever it is, this is a positive, powerful energy, the eight of wands. Eight of wands, beautiful energy. I mean, I love the eight of wands in any reading. I love the three of pentacles in any reading and the eight of wands in any reading. They're two of my favorite action cards. They're two of my favorite building block cards. Um, there could be travel here. There could be just busy going back and forth. There could be important messages coming in for you with the eight of wands. It is a very abundant, beautiful, action-oriented energy, the eight of wands. Goes along with the three of pentacles. And then you have this eight of cups energy, this, this departure. And that goes, see how these energies correlate. There's like a pattern here, is there not? There's a pattern here. So there is something that's kind of walking away from you. And, and the eight of pentacles energy, I think it goes along with this, this page of pentacles here, this page energy. Um, something here is, is as, as something is coming in, something is leaving. As something is coming in, something else is leaving. And that often happens. Um, sometimes it's just a little gift that is given to us by the universe to help us get to the three of pentacles, but it's maybe only a short term gift and then it will fade away. And we could have at the time when we're working on the three of pentacles, we could have incorporated this small short term gift into the three of pentacles, but it was really only to help us step in to step up. It's like a footstool a footstool or a stepping stone. And this, whatever this was, is going to begin to fade away. And it could have a, an energy of walking away to it. All right. So there's an energy of walking away and something that you thought was going to be a part of the three of pentacles and this eight of wands is kind of dropping out of the picture. Not a, not a um, terribly fun kind of energy, uh, but whatever is going on here is really quite beautiful. And I think it's something that you will be able to, to, um, to handle Aquarius. Like, I think you can see the truth of it. And whatever this is, this Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands is, is quite powerful. And you're moving forward with something beautiful that you're working on. And I think you're you're going to be okay with this. This Remember, this is a short-term reading. This is not meant to be like, although it can be for some people, there are, th these are messages that come forward for a whole variety of different people. And you may um, receive this message for your own self in a certain way, but these are meant um, to be short-term readings that we're only looking at out a few weeks, probably. Sometimes it goes a couple of months, I think, for some readings. So this could be a, a more short-term kind of a situation for you, all right? So let's move into the future now, the next immediate future for you. How will that look? How will that look for you? No matter what, there are two, there are two eights here. This is power. This is empowerment. This is endurance. This is velocity, right? Eights. Eights are beautiful numbers. Okay, let's see what's here for you in the future energy. You s what? Ace of Wands. <laughs> you see them when I do, my friends. They fall into a pile. High Priestess energy. I'm putting her in the upright. I feel she's an upright energy. It's kind of like this. Maybe a little wibble wobbly, but that's okay. Well, damn, Aquarius, here's the Ace of Pentacles. You have two Aces. So, you know, that's going to cause wobbliness here because that's a lot of power. That's a lot of strength. That's a lot of significance coming in for you. All right. Then we have the Nine of Wands here. Okay. That's why she was tilted. I get it. There's a page of Wands in the reverse. And now we have the Knight of Pentacles lateral. I'm going to keep him lateral. Okay. Let me make sure I've got this in a way that makes sense for me, Aquarius. What we have here is the Ace of Wands next to the High Priestess, next to the Ace of Pentacles, next to the Lover's Energy. The second row is the Nine of Wands, the Page of Wands in the reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles in the lateral. <sighs> wow. So we have two aces, two beginnings, two powerful energies. Um, as you move into the future, there is going to be new new actions. There, there are new actions that you're going to be taking, something new 
something passionate, something that you're super excited about, whatever it is, it excites you, it keeps you up. It's like the nine of swords, except for instead of worry, you're full of excitement and anticipation. It's like the night before a vacation, the night before you go on vacation, the night before you go on a long trip, the night before you start a new job, the night before. Okay, not the night after, okay, the night before. That's this Ace of Wands energy. All right, there's something new that's happening and you're going to be going into new action, whatever it is. It can be a new relationship. It can be a new job. It can be a new hobby. It can be something that has been a dream within you that you're finally taking action on after many, many years of thinking about this and dreaming about this. Ace of Wands, a passionate, new action, excited, excitement energy. And the Ace of Wands always is an, is an energy that comes with some sort of action. It's not a, um, the Ace of Swords can be a stillness. It can be epiphany, right? It's a stillness energy. The energy can be still. You know, when you get an epiphany, when you finally realize something that you have been mulling over for quite some time, you know how still the energy is? Still. It's like you realize it and, the, and everything stops just for a moment as you absorb whatever the epiphany is, right? That's the Ace of Swords. That's stillness. But the Ace of Wands is like an explosion. That's the Ace of Wands. So there's something here that you're going to be stepping into in the next period of time where you're going to be taking new action. And it's going to be action that is motivated by passion and excitement and anticipation for the future, Right? Now, we have the Nine of Wands over the top of the High Priestess. So there, there's something here that you might not be telling everyone about. High Priestess energy. This is internal. This is internal connection, internal connection to yourself, internal connection to divine energy. This is internal connection to the all-knowingness within you. The High Priestess does not have to speak. And I've talked about this a lot in my reading, so you've probably heard me talk about it. Um, I'll just mention it a little bit here, but the high priestess is an energy that does not have to confide in others. She confides in herself. She confides in the, in the religion or the belief system that she finds the most meaning in, whatever that is for her, whatever it is, it's source energy and she can confide in that and she can receive guidance from that and she can receive strength from it, right? She does not need to ask for anything from others or give anything to others. She doesn't need to ask for feedback or for opinions or for any kind of counsel. It's a very quiet energy and sometimes it can be a very secretive energy because she understands how, how opportunities can be damaged or warped or changed in some way by other people who want something different right? Who have a different agenda, who have different fears, because we all come towards an opportunity with our own set of baggage, with our own set of suitcases, right? We all come to opportunities with our own set of suitcases. And this energy is that you know what your luggage is, you know what your suitcases are, and you know how to handle that. And you're keeping quiet about whatever this is. Maybe not to everyone, but there's an element here of peacefulness, serenity, internal connection, and um, an energy of not really needing. It could be even be a, a kind of a kind of a different kind of feeling. It comes, it comes across almost like a little bit of a surprising energy. You might not have known that you had such a powerful high priestess inside of you as you move into the future. Now you have the nine of wands over the top. So there's something here that you are defending, and you're defending it by this very intuitive way that you're protecting it. I think you're protecting it with, with a certain kind of management of your words, management of your actions, so that you are acting and speaking in a way that does not allow for any kind of violation or invasion or any type of, um, I, they're just showing a picture of like worms eating into an apple, right? You don't want any worms to be eating into this apple. This is a beautiful, shiny red apple that has been placed into your life. Ace of Wands. No worms, right? See, energy's moving. So this is a reading where the energy moves. 
you have the page of wands in the in the reverse over the top of the ace of pentacles now let's move over to the ace of pentacles there is a new life here ahead there is a new reality ahead with the ace of pentacles um, the ace of pentacles is something that we bring in and it can be done in co-creation with spirit with your religious system or with your belief system many times the ace of pentacles are co-created now do i believe that the ace of pentacles comes from the sky and is just handed you on a silver platter no, I've never seen that for myself. I've always had to take action to connect with the Ace of Pentacles. I've always had to work. I've always had to learn how to be strong with the Ace of Pentacles. So this tells me you have been hard at work, Aquarius. You have been hard at work doing something in your everyday life to connect in with this beautiful new improvement. Whatever it is, new money, new beautiful home, new relationship, it's an, an improvement. Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning and an improved life in an everyday way. We see it here. It's no denying that there is that it's here, Aquarius. Now, what's interesting is you have the page of wands over the top of the Ace of Pentacles. And this page of wands is in the reverse. So what that tells me is over the next few weeks, you could have... And when I get into the page of wands in the reverse, it gets very, a little bit frustrating. I was going to say fr very frustrating, but I don't want to add any kind of weight to the word frustrating. But there's something here that is maybe taking just a little bit longer than you want it to, Aquarius. Um, it could be um, causing you to, it's connected to the high priestess as well. So this high priestess, whatever this new situation is, I think it's some sort of, management of yourself that you're having to have having to implement um, and this can really be a strain especially when you are so excited and there's something new and beautiful coming in for you it can really be a strain to be in the high priestess that's what i'm saying there is a little bit of a surprise how powerful this high priestess in, is within you the kind of content the kind of information the kind of wisdom that you are finding within yourself i think is a delight and the the power that the high priestess has the fragment the high priestess fragment within you the power that it has within you is kind of a surprise you are going to be implementing the high priestess energy because there is the page of wands and see the energy changes when i get into this energy. i'm going to take it out and read it from the side i'm, going to, I'm just putting it here that's all i'm doing i'm just taking it out of the reading <sighs> there's something here over the next few weeks that's going to frustrate you just a little bit um, maybe since it's connected in with this, this knight of, of pentacles, that's what it is. It's these two energies together. Okay. I got it. So these two energies are together. I'm going to take these energies here and move them over. This is a beautiful, beautiful, and then I'm going to move these two energies up. All right. So there's something here that's slowing down, um, the progress of this. And it probably has to do st about some kind of decision that you're having to make or that somebody else is having to make. All right. So there's some kind of slowing down of the progress here. Um, this does have to do with a partner type energy. Um, you could be waiting on another person. You could be waiting on another company and you could be waiting for some sort of proposal. You could be waiting for a response from a, from a client. Um, you could have put in a job application and you could be waiting for them to get back to you. Whatever it is, there's a waiting energy and it, it's kind of, it's, it's like you have all this excitement here. Whatever it is, you have all this excitement. You see a new reality coming around the corner and the progress is slower than you'd like. I think what you like, Aquarius, is the Knight, instead of the Knight of Pentacles, I think right now, because you have this passion with the Ace of Wands, you like the Knight of Wands. You'd like it to be fast. You'd like it to match the energy. But here's the thing, that's not part of your manifestation because you have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles is talking about an improved reality. And so often with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands energy is new action and we've all lived that life where we've taken action and we've been very excited and we've done this and we've done that and everything is going to happen and then pff, bogus, right? Yes, the Ace of Wands can be like that. This is what you're working to manifest is Ace of Pentacles a new beautiful reality and with that comes the knight of want the knight of pentacles energy the slow stable movement forward and that can be very frustrating when you're in the ace of wands okay so i think that's why the page of wands is in the reverse um, because you would like to connect in with that new energy over the next few weeks um, it is a beautiful stable energy that's coming in now i'm going to move it to the upright all right 
So there is a beautiful new stable energy that's coming in, but we know how slow the dang Knight of Pentacles is. But we know that the Knight of Pentacles brings long-term, stable, significant opportunities ahead, right? It's a beautiful, careful Knight of Pentacles. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type of energy. So this Knight of Pentacles will add to your foundation, will give strength, right? Instead of building your platform on sand, it will be built on very sturdy soil, right? That's the Knight of Pentacles energy. It is a beautiful piece of land. It is very stable progress forward. And sometimes it can take a while to build this kind of energy. Um, so that's why the, the Page of Wands is in the reverse. What I like about the Page of Wands is, is this Page of Wands is here. And the Page of Wands is a youthfulness energy, an exuberance energy, um, a bright new day in which we are going to move forward. And I'm feeling so good. I haven't felt this good in, in years. And I'm so excited to move forward in my new life. Okay, this energy is here connected with the Knight of Pentacles. So as this Knight of Pentacles gets closer, then this Page of Wands is going to move to the upright. You see how it's going to happen. So be patient, Aqua. It's coming in. Be patient, it's coming in. Right, it is coming in. The lover's energy is here. It's talking about a yin and yang. It's a yin and yang type energy. There could be a lover here that you're going to start a new life with. There could be a, a partner here that's going to be a match to your energy that has something to do with this long-term growth. Could be a coworker, could be a business partner, could be a new client coming in with a new project, right? It's something that's a match to you. And when I mean a match, when we're talking about the lover's energy, it's a match to your yin or a match to your yang. And that when we match the yin and yangs within us, that's forward movement, that's a chariot energy. All right, so whatever this is that you're waiting on, you could be waiting on a partner. You could be waiting on a lover, right? You could be waiting on a business partner trying to make a decision about some new project that you're going to start. Whatever it is, it's taking a little bit longer than, than it should because this energy, this Knight of Pentacles energy that's coming towards you very slowly is having to make a decision here. So there is a decision that this person is working to make. And I like that it's the Knight of Pentacles energy who's making the decision because no one can make the decision better about your reality than the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, we do have the Knight of Swords who can also make very beautiful decisions, very fair decisions, Aqua. We know that we can be very logical in our decisions, but the Knight of Pentacles makes the best decisions about wealth, about foundations, about sturdiness in life. Right. He looks at the overall pictures of acid and blah, blah, at the overall pictures, at the overall pictures. I'm going to keep saying it at the overall pictures of assets and liabilities. He looks at the ballot and sheet, right? He looks at the kingdom in totality and he works to bring abundance and sturdiness and significance to the kingdom. Right. The, the Knight of Swords is very much about clarity of mind, about making equal and fair and just and and um, logical and rational decisions. That's about mentality. This is about in, intelligence, about our understanding of the universe. The Knight of Pentacles makes decisions about material items, about money, about um, legacy. Right. So this person is a very grounded person, very grounded person that's coming your way. This energy anyway, whether it's a person or an opportunity, is a very grounded, um, stable, long term energy. That's why he's touching this Ace of Pentacles. Right. And <laughs> it, I, I'm going to say that probably the, the most difficult part about the next few weeks for you in all this excitement is this waiting. It's a waiting game aqua it's a waiting game here but you will feel this passion you will feel this movement here you will feel this excitement about life it's definitely here it just needs to rotate and, and move in let's look at the guidance here for you aquarius wheel of fortune magician temperance beautiful Beautiful Aquarius. Ah, that's so beautiful. 
I just want to sit and look at it. Let's sit and look at it. <sighs> Wheel of Fortune. Movement forward. New initiation. Beautiful new happenings. You're finally on your way. Something about fortune here. The Wheel of Fortune. Look, it's taken you seasons to get this Wheel of Fortune moving. Winter. Spring, summer, fall. See the seasons? It's taken you a while to get here, hasn't it? You've been excited. You've been scared. You've worked hard. You felt lonely. You felt hope. You felt the new winter setting in. You've harvested. You know, all of these things have happened while you've been working to get this wheel to move. This is talking about the power of, of manifestation with the magician. So you've imagined it. You've lived within it. You've believed it. You've found clarity around it. You're passionate about it. And you're taking steps to bring it in. You're practical. You have lists. You have routines. You have perseverance and tenacity. This is manifesting. It's not only putting it into the vortex. That doesn't do it for me anyway. Maybe you. It doesn't do it for me. No. You've been working hard. That's how you get the wheel to turn. The wheel doesn't turn by itself. It takes hard work to push the wheel. And that's what you're doing. As above, so below. The magician has tools. Love. Passion groundedness and clarity and with these types of elements the most beautiful manifestations can take place and then we have temperance patience understanding that this is complicated maybe more complicated than you can see with your human eyes understanding that it's going to take a little bit of time but it's all about alchemy look i can the energy moves again so there's energy movement right now. Enjoy this time. Enjoy this time. See the small pleasures. Keep your, keep your frequency. Keep your mood in a powerful place. Try not to allow your mood to go too low. Keep it high. Keep yourself in good spirits. Eat well. Rest as well as you can. As good as you can. Sleep as powerfully as you can, my friends. Keep yourself healthy, eat good food, be outside, see the miracles in life, temperance. Okay, I'm going to move on to the extended. Let me see what's here for what I'm going to dig into for Aquarius. <sighs> well, we have these two aces. So I'm going to look into the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles. We have this Knight of Pentacles that's quite interesting that I want to look at. I don't think I want to look at anything in the in the current energy because that's happening now. It'll happen sooner or later here in the next short time. What I'm most interested in is this future. And um, I think I'm going to go into the Wheel of Fortune here. So these four energies is what I'm going to go into. Um, and then I'm going to take this out into the month of June, so I'm going to look at March, a few cards for March, a few cards for April, May, and then June. Um, another way to think of it, instead of the months, is March, April, May, June as waves of energy. So it's it's really hard to, to calculate time and to be um, sure. I, I am never sure, ever, ever, ever sure about timing. Um, what I can say is that it's what I feel most comfortable saying, more than months, is the waves of energy, right? So we have current wave is what's happening now what's happening in the immediate future is the second wave i'll go out the third fourth fifth wave okay or if you prefer to call it five months you can do that as well all right okay my beautiful friends i'm moving to the extended if you're happy with this reading that makes me happy too i will see you back on youtube in the next seven to ten days aquarius otherwise for the rest of you who are um, here and want more information feel free to move to the extended the link for that is below or in the comment section okay beautiful friends thank you very much